After a deadly shooting in Scranton over the weekend, a nearby nightclub is under the microscope. That's right. With numerous complaints coming in now, city officials and the Commonwealth are looking at closing it. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live outside the Castle nightclub with what it may mean for the after hours club. Cody. Nick, good evening. That shooting is now raising the question, should the club be shut down? I spoke with city council and the district attorney about this hot pressing, pressing issue. The Castle nightclub is indirectly part of an investigation stemming from a deadly shooting that left one man dead and two others injured. It all happened near the club on Sunday. According to police, those involved were not patronizing the establishment, but... The castle has been a problem in the neighborhoods uh, in, in North Scranton for some time, even if you take this incident out. City Council President Pat Rogan says he and other council members have sent a letter to Lackawanna County District Attorney Mark Powell to look into closing the castle, calling it a nuisance. In February, Powell worked under the same complaints to close Rockies. A judge ruled in favor and closed it for six months. All institutions are governed by general nuisance provisions and, and, um, and they cannot operate a business to the demise of all their neighbors. Business owners like Jim Lyons, who owns DJ's Hoagies near the club, want to see it gone. It's not good for the neighborhood. Um, you know, we, we try our best. Everybody has a right to be in business, but not to put others at harm. The castle is the only known after-hours club in the city, open at 2 a.m. and closes at 5 a.m. You know, people have a perception that it's a, you know, it's a rough place to be, and it can be. I spoke with an employee that works at the nightclub and she says she hopes that the, the bar does close down, now saying that there is a fight inside and or outside the bar every single weekend. In Scranton, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. All right, Cody, thanks for getting us up to date. Now, the district attorney, Mark Powell, would not comment on where the deadly shooting investigation stands right now. So far, no one has been arrested or charged with the death of 20-year-old Parker Palermo.